Uh, greetings gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here in today's video. I just wanted to make a very quick how to create a floating health indicator above your player's head, multiplayer replicated, so that you have something like this. Okay, uh, I was looking around for some tutorials on this and there are bits and pieces, but there wasn't one specifically on how to do this, <clears throat> just like quick and easy multiplayer. So that's what we're going to do here today. Let's kick things off. Head on over to your player, your main character, and look for text renderer. Text renderer is what you're looking for. Whoops. Text, uh, text render, sorry, or text render is what you're looking for. Go ahead and add your text render. I've already got mine here. Uh, basically, you got your text render right there. You can just kind of position it as you wish. You can also uh, have that center aligned instead of left aligned, which will be the default. You can center align that. So you can just kind of pop it above your character's head. Now to give it a default uh, message, head on over to your construction script, construction script rather, create a new variable. You can just call it text above head. Uh, and it, it is of the text type. So you want a text type, <clears throat> uh, text type, text type is what you want. Uh, in your construction script, you can go ahead and set text <clears throat> for your text render. You can just go ahead and grab your text render like that. Go ahead and set text. You'll get something which looks like this. And then you can plug in the text above head. Now I have my default value that just says hi on my text above head. And that will basically get you to the phase where you see a character that says hi above their head. Now we're going to multiplayer replicate that next. Uh, but you should now be at this phase. It says hi. It says whatever you want to say. That's what it says. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So um, next, head on over to your event graph. All right. So what you're going to want to do is get your character's current health. Uh, just create a float variable for that if you haven't already got a uh, current health. Um, so what you're going to want to do is set your current health to be a rep notify variable. So just click your, your set health, your set variable, uh, choose rep notify. And when you do that, you can also, you'll also notice that you get a function that's automatically created over here, right? So if I, if I were to, let me just show you how this works. I'm going to grab is zoomed set is zoomed. You'll notice over here in my functions, there's nothing called rep notify for is zoomed. But if I go ahead and click on rep notify, boom, there's the automatic function that's created for me, which is rep is zoomed. Now rep notify basically automatically replicates variable information across all clients. The server just does that automatically. It's built in. It also automatically replicates uh, the functions that you have plugged into the uh, uh, well, sorry, the, the, it has replicated uh, whatever instructions you have in the, the function that is created when the rep notify variable is created. I hope I said that right. Anyway, uh, so I've already got mine here, uh, the set current health with rep notify. Now, I have this to occur when event any damage occurs. Now, if you don't have any damage, uh, being triggered, you will, of course, have to set up a damage source. Uh, basically, you can just, of course, get something like apply damage, right? I'm assuming you already have that, and you're just trying to figure out how to get a damage indicator overhead for the point of this video. So apply damage, then event any damage is automatically replicated, <clears throat> so you don't need to do anything special with that. Well, the little server icon means that's automatically replicated to the server. Um, now, from that, I am just updating my current health variable with the amount of damage, basically health current minage, minus damage received equals the amount that I'm updating my rep notify uh, health current variable with. <clears throat> and then from there is irrelevant for this tutorial. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit our rep notify function. Uh, in my case, health current is what I'm calling the variable. And all I'm doing here is on rep notify, when, when the variable changes, when there's an update to the variable, we uh, the server will now update that across, uh, uh, to all clients. And in this case, all we're doing is we are set text, set text, <clears throat> right? Set set text, and we're grabbing the uh, text render, which it actually just grabbed for me by default there. But if if yours didn't, it's basically just this, right? It's that scene component, <clears throat> and I'm 
plugging in the value of current health, right? So that's all I'm doing. Just get current health, boom, like that. Of course, plug it in like that. Anyway, that's uh, basically just how to set it up. And you can see I've already got mine set up there. So I was just kind of showing you guys how to, how to do that. And that's all there is to it. That is actually all there is to it. Now, when you uh, head on into, into your game, as you can see, we've got the client here, client side. Um, go ahead and shoot your guy when you apply damage. That is automatically replicated and updated. Boom. All right, hope you guys have found this video helpful. Just wanted to do a nice, fast, quick one specifically for dealing with replicating health above head. All right, see you later.